We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with CV and A stock, Carvana stock, continuing to break out from the dip area down here to the multiple rip areas between yesterday and today, having that staircase effect. And in today's video, we're going to talk about some key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. And CV and A stock was not the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market and the SPY did as well. And our SPY buy at 8.35 a.m. sent out a bore indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision. And call options went up 50% plus within minutes to an hour, guys. And as you see there pop you up within the screen, within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So, here we are with CVNA stock continuing to push up higher and test key resistance levels. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what key levels I would watch going into tomorrow, what the inflow versus outflow is showing, the born bear indicators, and the short interest data. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home and opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our AMD bot, our AMD bot at 935 a.m., sent out a bear indicator from that moment forward outflows cross the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 200 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. Here we are with CVNA stock, Carvana stock, doing a full transition from the dip area last week on Friday to the rip area on Monday and today. And here we are with it trying to continue a staircase effect. Now, if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 Vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with cvna stock under a bull indicator since yesterday at around the 1930 cent area and inflows crossing back over guys and here we are with it fighting to stay above today and it pulled up higher and continued when it found support here at around $21 and hit high so far of $24. Now, it did have a big pullback on Friday, followed by a bear indicator up here at around the $24.50 area. And we're going to talk about the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow and what the data is showing. And also, here we are with it staircase affecting and doing a full transition so far from the dip area to the rip area yesterday and continuing with bright green bars something to not ignore and slightly outflows have began up here on the 30 minute as we see it right it went from green to red 
from inflows here of 2.31 to 1.5 but inflows are still dominating and that's why things have not collapsed now if these outflows go ahead and pull down even further i would not ignore that because that weakness could quickly start to reflect into these charts and possibly cancel out this bull indicator with a possible bear indicator so something to not ignore there within the volatility now what is the data showing well the first thing is the short interest float percentage is 64 percent guys with a days to cover of 0.6 and if we come down here we could see the short shares available earlier today was zero and now it's at 70,000 and a hundred thousand so that 0.6 seems to be giving the flexibility for the shorts to get in and out of their positions now as we could see here in the charts when it was around zero things were pushing up but here towards the end of the day here 43 minutes ago 11 minutes ago short shares availability went from 70,000 to 100,000 and here we have it pushing up higher throughout the day and shorts are trying to pile on in if this continues to push up higher with the staircase effect and testing key resistance levels it could go ahead and possibly get even more shorts trapped in a possible squeeze now things did move up pretty quickly last week going into earnings and then quickly came back down but it found support around the 18 dollar range and continued this staircase effect in the last two days and we're going to talk about the key levels i would watch well the first thing is inflow versus outflow guys i would not ignore this these inflows will be critical and crucial going into tomorrow and to hold up this possible strength and bull indicator right so now it's gone red it's still above the midpoint and it's going to be crucial to go from red to green and stay above the midpoint to continue pushing up higher because if these outflows go down lower and go towards the midpoint and cross it it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts very quickly and it's not just the 30 minute but when we zoom out on the one hour these inflows are above in green a bull indicator popped up today at around 2150 and when we zoom into the 15 minute these outflows have been beginning here since the middle of the day and you could see the choppiness from way up here at 24 dollars down towards 23 but it has not collapsed completely down and no bear indicator just yet since the bull indicator back here at around 2190 because these outflows have not crossed down if they do it could possibly quickly start to reflect that weakness into the charts and possibly even cancel out this bull indicator with a possible bear indicator so something to not ignore there within the volatility of the 15 minute now what's the first key level i would watch well it's support guys and that's 2150 near the lows of the day today where these inflows pick right back up and if these outflows go ahead and pull down even further and reflect further weakness on the 15 minute as well crossing below the midpoint reflecting that weakness into these charts and canceling out this bull indicator with a possible bear indicator the next support i'll be watching is down here towards the 19 dollars guys 1950 area where the bull indicator popped up and then below that comes the lows down here of 1850 before trying to bring itself back up on yesterday's trading day and those inflow crossovers so those are the key lows i'll be watching to the downside if these outflows continue red and cross to the downside on the 15 minute and 30 minute now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to go from red to green pull away from the midpoint to the upside continue reflecting that strength into these charts and not only that but also getting that strength up on the 15 minute switching from red to green and pulling upwards away from the midpoint guys this is going to be critical within the volatility tomorrow it's really close to the midpoint and if the bulls are going to have any further strength they want these inflows to pick back up hold strong this bull indicator and continue that staircase effect to the upside guys now the first resistance i'll be watching is the high of day in that tight range there of 2415 and then above that comes back up where the bear indicator popped up 2450 and then the highs on friday of 27 dollars those are the key levels i'll be watching 
to the upside these bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial i'm also going to be watching the key levels i shared to the downside if these outflows cross over and the inflow versus outflow is going to be crucial and critical i'll be watching that very carefully and as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money